All right, my fellow global friends, our time has finally come. The thank you celebration is officially here and global has once again risen from the dead. Guys, I'm so freaking happy, so freaking excited. Let's uh, let's just jump in and see what's going on. All right, here we go. Dokkan thank you celebration begins. Various celebrating events are here. Get Dokkan thank you celebration gift card too from the login bonus, the special missions, and the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign and exchange them for powerful SSR characters at the Baba Shop. In addition, new SSR Trunks team Future and Zamasu will both show up in the Dual Dokkan Fest. Of course, you guys already knew about that if you've been watching my videos. Uh, seize the chance to recruit them to your team. Meanwhile, don't miss out on various, uh, let's see, merchandise and events including the new daily capsule. Okay, so that's a pay to play thing. Uh, we'll get to that in a second too, but honestly, if you are a pay to play player, it's actually a really freaking good deal, guys. All right, I took a look at it just before I started filming, and the daily capsule value for the packs is actually amazing, I'm not gonna lie. And the legendary challenge campaign. Come join the events and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, perfect. Login bonus. We'll look at the separate page, the like specific page for this in a second. Um, thank you, special missions. Of course, we'll look at that too. And Dragonstone sale. Okay, so it's 12 stones for 60% off, pretty standard, 32 stones for 50% off, two times only. Okay, so two of those packs, 91 stone pack, seven times, and also two additional super discount 77 stones. Definitely gonna pick those up. Those are always pretty solid deals, so I like that. Uh, I wish there were more like 32 stone packs, honestly, because those are usually the best deal possible, but um, you know, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, so if you are pay to play, then there you go, pretty decent sales and also super thank you pack. So I don't know what this is about, unless it's talking about the 77 stones, maybe? Or is it a separate Pilaf's Trove pack? Not really sure about that. I think it's referring to the 77 stone packs though. Okay, beginner's pack renewal contents. Um, so the new beginner's pack, I think the only difference really from the old one is that the ticket can get you some extra units from before, so, or like different units than before, so, uh, that's that's it. I mean, it's, it's actually a pretty good deal too because you do get 15 stones as well as the ticket and uh, some other random crap. So uh, we'll also take a look at the pack in a second. We'll pop into the Pilas Trove Shop and see what's going on there. Uh, daily capsule now available. So this once again is a global exclusive feature. It's a subscription service where you pay a price for um, basically over the course of like two weeks or a month. You can get dragon stones every single day. And if you break it down into the total number of stones you're getting for the price you pay, it's actually a very, very good deal, guys. I'm not I'm not like a Bandai spy, I'm not trying to like be on Bandai's side or anything like that, but I gotta call it like it is, man, and this is actually really solid. Okay, legendary camp challenge campaign begins, or rather I guess it begins Wait, does it start now? Or maybe in a few hours? I'm not- wait, hold on. Uh, for- wait, I guess it starts now. Okay, so Legendary Challenge Campaign, uh, the LR Trunks Legendary Campaign, so uh, we can get up to 20 stones, or maybe 30 stones if you guys finished in before the campaign started, and uh, some Kai, some orbs, all that good stuff, so make sure you get that done. Purunga Dragon Ball Campaign, <sighs> finally guys, we're finally getting Purunga back, and uh, that is pretty damn exciting too, it's been such a long time since we had a Purunga campaign on Global. So yeah, very excited for that. 77 thank you celebrations per character. So that's what the thank you celebration gift cards are for. They're the same thing as the wish strips that JP got. Um, let's see, special selection characters, recruit a character with Super Dragonstone 5. So um, I'm not sure if this is like, do we get like this Dragonstone for free? Or is it, you have to buy it somewhere? So it's a blue dragon stone. Um, usually those are paid, so I'm guessing you have to buy it from like a pack or something like that. Uh, not a hundred percent sure what's going on there, but okay, blue dragon stone, dual Dokkan fest with tickets, obviously, and super multi summon discounts. So that's the three plus one, and I'm thinking most likely the first three multis of each banner. Uh, they're also going to be extra discounts, so like. You know, something like 30, 35, 40, and then the free multi, and then regular 3 plus 1 with 50 stone multis. But the first couple of multis should be extra discounted, so I would recommend everybody to definitely, like, at least do those. 
So there's the Dual Doka Fest right there, there's the Future Saga category banner with a new Gawasu that I do not recommend anybody to summon on, but it's it's your call I guess. Um, we have the Elder Kai banner, we have the Dokkan events for Trunks and Zamasu, we have a new boss rush, also a new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Battlefield uh, to be expected. Um, you guys know about the uh, copy Vegeta or duplicate Vegeta story event, which we're also getting now. And all Dokkan events available, uh, Extreme Z battles are going to be available every day during the celebration. A couple of re, um, re-releases, I guess, of events, story events, Battle of Gods, Fight Against Despair. This is really good, by the way. This one specifically is really good for farming gravity chambers. I'm really low on them, so I'm, I'm going to be farming the crap out of this event. Definitely do that too if you guys are low on gravity chambers because they're super, super useful. Uh, and the future Trunk Saga story event as well. Um, Super Battle Road available every day, cool. And also restoration of reward boost halved. So uh, you know how like you get those like three uses of the reward boost system every single day to double your rewards, right? But now you can get up to six because it's only four hours per refresh. So that's pretty freaking awesome. That's the first time I think I've ever seen that. I don't think JP. I don't think JP's ever gotten this. This might be a first for global. And also quadruple rank EXP from the story or quest mode. So if you guys are low on rank, low on rank, or you guys are very low rank, or you're just you know, looking for something to do, then definitely uh, run story or quest as much as possible because this is the best time possible. I mean, actually the Vegito Blue uh, legendary campaign was the best time possible because they also, I think, decreased the cost of the quest mode, but still, it's a really, really good time to farm your rank right now, like your account rank, so uh, get that done if you guys need to. And also 30% off Baba Shop stuff, okay. <laughs> and Golden Weekend Mission, so for 4 weekends, the next 4 weekends, we can get like a ton of stones and some Sleepy Kai's and all that stuff for completing these special missions on the weekend. So uh, obviously you want to do those for the stones and everything that I said, so that's great. So that looks like all the events are uh, pretty solid. and. I think there might be a part two. I mean, they don't specifically mention a part two, but there should be a part two to the celebration later on too. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Complete all the missions from part one to get 22. Okay, so definitely a part two coming. Uh, in addition, you can also obtain awesome rewards, including Hercule statues and potential orbs. Okay, so we can get up to 22 stones. You guys can look at the rest of the stuff by yourself because I don't think anybody really cares too much about the other stuff. Um, but the main thing is, yeah, up to 22 dragon stones for the missions, which is not that much, I guess, but it, it's something. It's something. Okay. And for the login bonus, we get 30 dragon stones today. Like right now when you log in, you should have gotten 30 stones and also a, a thank you ticket thing. And then uh, from there on out, we get two stones per day for the rest of the logins and also some like keys and kais and all that stuff. So. Um, not a bad login bonus right there. Is there anything else I'm missing? Let's see, you can obtain up to 30 stones and one thank you celebration gift card upon the first login. Okay, cool. Now, 77 characters in the Baba Shop. You can see all of them here. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail about which ones you should pick or which ones are the best because uh, I think that's, you know, enough material for another video. It just would make this video too long, so here is the list guys, uh, there are some really good units in here that you can get, so I'll make a separate video about that probably, just giving guys some recommendations about what I think you should do. And let's see, um, there are four ways, no there are three ways to get these gift cards. So one is the uh, first login, and the second one you can get from the part two missions, and then the third one, third and fourth one, you can get from the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign, I think it's one of the wishes, so there you go. And what else? Okay, Purunga Dragon Ball Campaign. Okay. Um, okay. Purunga Dragon Ball Campaign. Collect Purunga Dragon Balls during the event period to have three wishes granted. And we already have a clue for today. It says, how do I use gift cards? So I'm guessing that you just have to exchange the gift card you got today for something in the Baba Shop, like one of the units, and you'll get that ball. And then for the next six days, we'll get six more clues to collect six more balls. And then once we... Um, get all the balls, we can summon Purunga and make some wishes, and here are all the wishes guys. You can get two gift cards, or three of each Kai, or a bunch of hidden uh, potential orbs, 
um, some Hercule statues, you know, support items, um, incredible gems, and also awakening medals. You can choose three of these. I would recommend probably Kai's, um, maybe gift cards if you guys are missing a lot of those units, if you really need them. And uh, orbs obviously is a great choice. And then from there, I mean, it's really up to you. I think uh, the incredible gems is not a bad choice. Um, I feel like Hercule statues is kind of a waste. It's wasted wish because you can just do a bunch of friend summons to get more Hercule statues or go higher in Extreme Z battles. But it's up to you guys. So uh, that's my recommendation. Probably gift cards, um, orbs, and incredible gems are the best choices here. Okay, we have the campaign here. And is there anything else I um, I didn't know about? I don't think so. And these are the rewards. We already looked at that. Okay, cool. What else? We have beginners pack renewal. So the beginners pack and the list of exchangeable characters are also renewed. Use the beginners ticket to recruit a powerful ally at Baba's shop and embark on an exciting adventure. Okay, so you can get Super Saiyan Blue Kauken. Um, great choice right there because his EZ8 is, is phenomenal. It's not on global yet, but once it does come, he's really really good uh, and also these other guys are really good too so it looks like it's just a full list of like a lot of the extreme z awakenable units not including um actually it might be all of them i don't really know hmm looks like all of these are extreme z awakenable except for the 70 percent leads which we're missing a few of but most of these guys are extreme z awakenable so if you guys are missing some of these units then not a bad choice uh, to pick up the beginner's pack especially because you do get 15 stones as well on top of that so uh the, the it, it's not a bad deal uh, honestly like it's really not a bad deal okay and also daily capsule so oh instead of looking at this why don't we actually go look at the pilaf's trove real quick all right so we're in the pilaf's trove and i can't believe i'm saying this again but it's actually a really good deal guys so for the 15 day capsule we're getting one stone off the bat and then two stones every day for uh, 15 days for a total of um, 31 stones, I guess, right? 31 stones for 699 Canadian, even cheaper US. And same thing with the 30 day um, capsule as well. Actually, it's, it's even better because you get three stones a day for 30 days. That's 90 stones plus five bonus upon purchase for a total of 95 stones for 1399. Um, I think it's probably like 10, 11 dollars US. So if you compare that to like the in game packs, that is, that's crazy, man, because the 91 stone pack at full price is $63 Canadian, whereas 95 stones, obviously over the course of 30 days, but still, like, in terms of total stones you're getting, look at that, we got reset, okay, awesome. Uh, in terms of total stones you're getting, it's it's just great value, all right, so that's a daily capsule thing, um, beginner's pack, I'm gonna show you guys real quick as well, 15 stones, beginner's ticket, and a couple sleepy guys, which not super useful, but they could work, you never know. I mean, all five could fail, all five could work if you get really lucky, you never know. Some trading items and some medals, good stuff. So $13.99 for that, I'm probably gonna pick up everything, to be honest. I'm not sure if you can pick up like both the 15 day and the 30 day uh, daily capsule thing, but if I can, I'm probably gonna do that too, because that's over 100 stones for like 20 bucks which uh, <laughs> it's a lot better deal than your average um, stone pack in the game. So uh, there you go, guys. That is the thank you celebration. I know I spent a lot of time talking about the Pilaf's Trove stuff, which I didn't think I would, but um, they did a good job with that. I, I applaud Bandai for that for pay-to-play players. It's definitely a um, nice little bonus. And uh, for the rest of you guys, uh, the events are pretty nice. Part two is coming for sure. Um, and I'm just really happy that Global is finally alive and well, man. It, it was it was dead for a long time, and there was just literally nothing, nothing to do for the last couple of weeks. So uh, this feels good. This feels really, really good. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, obviously, a lot more content coming up soon, covering a lot of stuff regarding the celebration. So stay tuned for that. As always, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows when I stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.